Joining the show right now, um, you know, for his work covering tennis, covering the NFL. I don't know if he has any ideas he wants to pitch Shark Tank, but uh, Steve Weisman joins the show right now. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I do want to say, I mean, listen, Kevin O'Leary may not like what Del, Fu- Del Supo is pitching, but I love his idea at Wimbledon to have walkouts with music, smoke, video walls. I mean, I- I'm buying in on that. And There's actually a tournament in St. Petersburg in Russia that has all that. Like, the players literally walk out on the court. There's dancers. There's music. There's video. It, I mean, it is a party. And then at the end of the tournament, there's – a concert before they even give the trophy presentation. So I don't know if the All England Club's going to be into it, Del Tupo, but I, I love I, it. I'm feeling your idea there. Yeah, the Wimbledon walkout's very boring. I was like, when I watch it, I'm like, I like it. It's all, I get it, the like the old building and they walk out, but it's like they need some music there. Yeah. The and mic- they actually changed it this year because they used to walk out on the side and this year they walked out straight yep. out to center court. Yep. I mean, they're, they're all about you know, tradition. Yeah, I get it. Can't walk on the grass and all white. And I, I mean, they got up in arms when Nick Kyrgios walked out in his Jays that had red on them. Yep. And then he was wearing like his red hat after the match. And somebody asked him five questions about why, why would you do that? You know? And he's like, cause I'm doing me, you know, like <laughs> my tradition is more important than their tradition. <laughs> so I know y'all were talking about NBA earlier and these guys like Kyrgios is the biggest NBA fan. He is the, massive Celtic super fan. And so he was on the desk with us after one of his matches, and he's talking to me and John Wertheim, and he literally told us that if the Celtics lose a match in overtime or something like that, he will, or lose a game, he will throw matches the next day. He is that sad about the Celtics' losses. So, um, and Giannis is like a good friend with, with Stefano Sitsipas and Maria Sakri, the Greek players, and Jimmy Butler and, and Sasha Zverev have a great relationship. I know you're mentioning uh, Nikola Jokic uh, from Serbia, and, and him and, and Novak Djokovic are also really tight. So there's a lot, of, a lot of connection between the tennis world and the rest of the sports world. No, I love that, Steve, and I appreciate you bringing it up because it feels like tennis is having a cultural moment, largely due to the fact that there is this infighting within the community. The fact that Nick Kyrgios wearing red shoes has everybody up in arms. And at the Mike Del Tufo Classic, they're talking about, now to the main court, Nick Kyrgios, tip your waiter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's this weird kind of time for tennis, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you've got you've got your traditionalists, and then you've got your your next gen. They call them the next gen. That you know, they're they're trying to to do their own thing, and I think that's kind of society in general. And so sometimes uh, it, it ruffles feathers the wrong way. And tennis has always been a sport that you know it, it's a gentleman's sport, and this and that, and you know, uh, th- there's a lot of unspoken rules. And you know, somebody like Nick Kyrgios, who, in my opinion is absolutely box office and you have to watch when he's on the court, you know, does things a little bit differently. And I don't agree with everything he does and and the cursing and the throwing of the rackets. And, you know, potentially these days there's been some incidents where players hit balls and, you know, they might hit somebody in the crowd or slam a racket and it goes close to hitting a ball kit or something like that. But in terms of walking out on center court in Jays, I think that's cool. And, you know, his whole perspective on, you know, the game and, and kind of wanting to entertain as well as, as be talented. I love that. I mean, is it the best tactical decision to hit a tweener on, you know, in the Wimbledon championship in the middle of a rally? Probably not, but it's cool. 